Howdy fellas, Frankie Day, back again on YouTube. This evening on YouTube, I have my first update number one of my personal build, the Trumpeter 1200 scale USS Arizona. Okay, well, so far on the update of the construction of the kit, I went ahead and um, I primed the bottom section of the hull. As you can see on top, my lazy Susan painted the screws. I gave the bottom section of the hull six coats of the red oxide paint. And let each coat dry in between coats. So this is the last coat that I put on it. Then I sprayed a coat of Krylon Clear on to uh, keep the paint from uh, leaving finger marks. Also protect the finished red oxide paint paint schedule on the on the bottom of the hull. And the uh, top section of the hull is airbrushed using Vallejo uh, number seven nine forty eight, which is dark sea blue, which was uh, which was five S major five S with the Arizona. Um, war during her during the attack of Pearl Harbor. Uh, henceforth again, folks, USS Arizona was the only was the only uh, battleship on the battle line that uh, had this new uh, co color code, uh, this color measure, which is called 5S. Instead of using measure one, which was 5D, which is dark gray with uh, the pale gray upper surfaces for the fun line on top. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, that's the color this this model is going to be painted. That's about as thick as we're going to get. And we'll zoom in and take a look at the screws. And the screws uh, took about uh, 20 minutes for each screw to paint, guys. I, there's five coats of, of Tester's uh, gold that I put uh, I brushed on there. And uh, and they were dry, and they were see the coat of clear rod as well, along with the hull. The rudder is non-functional. I elected to make a static model out of this instead of ready to control. Although this model is very optional, it depends on the builder. It can be built into a wonderful rate control model or a static model. And uh, we'll swing with the this is such a large model, folks. I got to move things around just to get things organized here. This will probably be a good year for me to get my videos all polished up instead of the amateur, amateur style. But it is what it is for now, folks. I got to practice on that. <clears throat> There's a close-up of the bow right there. There's your pair, your your pair vein, uh, your pair vein uh, plate that fits in the bottom of the ram bow right there, which hooks up to the forecastle. That's where they, that's where the uh, uh, they carry they pull their pair uh, their pair of veins uh, during uh, mine patrols. In case of you know they, if there is mine infested area, they always carried uh, pair of veins to cut the mines. And we'll zoom back out and we'll do a little switcheroo with the with the hull and uh, we'll go through that and uh, so far the build going pretty good folks I've been reading the instructions for the last three or four days for my own way of, of building this model every model builds differently fellas and all models are different so that's what makes this model community so wonderful because we all have our own ideas and we learn off each other and I may be no fart in the wind but I'm still learning too okay guys here's the upper portion of the hull I just got done finishing airbrushing six coats of uh, Vallejo uh, Sea Blue 5S. Uh, never mind, I have to worry about the deck right there because all the all the sections that have been painted with with the uh, with the dark sea blue is going to be masked off with masking tape. It's going to be air, and the deck's going to be airbrushed using tape. And uh, right along with the barbettes right there, they're going to be masked off so that leave so there'll be nice crisp line between that and the deck. And also the companion way uh, holds good down below to where the crew quarters that we masked off. And also the cleat, the, the cleat, uh, I mean the bit, your, your bit mounts also be masked off painted. And all this, this will all be done sub assembly wise. The chain plates all be painted, they're going to be masked off. And uh, the hose plates going to be, uh, the hose lips going to be all masked off. So uh, that's the color she's going to be folks. So uh, next next video is going to show the, uh, the the finishing of the cleat finishing of the hull itself and everything else will be sub assemblies and painted and assembled as you go along. So it's going to be a long build, and I got to get started on the other group builds right now. Uh, right now, uh, Freddie is sent, sending me a B26 Marauder, a 148 scale. I should receive that one day this week, and that's going to be my entry for Russell Goslin's uh, group build, D-Day group build. And my heart goes out for, for uh, Russell. He's got little family problems. He's trying to get squared away. And uh, with the Lord's Prayer in our hearts all in one, and 
maybe there's somehow they he would be able to have his marriage saved and things would be back to, back like they used to be. And uh, so we got two great co-hosts. We got uh, Nigel Wells, and we'll see, also we have Mike Cohen. They're both going to be hosts for the group build. So uh, you could not find any better hosts in the world than them two great fellas. And as you can see right there, the, how the the blue, the blue gray, uh, the dark sea blue really, really holds up pretty good. So this is the measure the Arizona was in. It was measure 5S, which is dark sea blue. The rest of the battle line were supposed to be painted the same, but they never were painted because of, because of the attack. But after the attack, they were refitted and painted that color. Until up to 1943, then they were painted measure 32s. And uh, we'll zoom in right here. We'll finish up uh, the group. We'll uh, finish up the update. So I'm going to let this thing dry overnight, folks. And tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of masking and start uh, doing, doing the the work on the uh, the paint work on the uh, on the deck and get that all squared away. And everything else will be sub assemblies. And uh, we'll pop the bottom part of the hull. I got to put the boot topping on there, the black boot topping. It's going to be about uh, one eighth of an inch. The boot topping, which is going to be on top of the freeboard to the bottom where it matches the bottom of the hole, and uh, that'll be uh, attached tomorrow. And I got a baseboard, and I'm going to mount this thing on its ways instead of having it on a stand or a, or a lamp panels. And uh, I'm going to do it the baseboard. I already got some plexiglass already cut for this already, folks. So that's going to be the last touch on the model when I get it all finished because this is going to go in the display case when I get finished. You can't have a piece of money like this laying around to collect dust to bust and everything else to go with it. So this model will be well taken care of like the rest of my builds are. And I'm very glad I got this model. This is a very inspirational model. A lot of people like to get hands on this Arizona. Uh, you can get them less than what they retail for. They retail for $300, but you can get it pretty lit cheaper now. I was very, very lucky I got this one for $200. My wife did, you know, and she... Y'all knew my wife, knew me down the hobby shop. It was Christmas time, so they ate a hundred dollars and let me have it for two hundred bucks. So that's a, that's a godsend right there in itself. Okay, fellas, uh, this is going to conclude my first update build report on my USS Arizona. And uh, a, day, a day or two, so I get my V26 will be coming in. I'll be posting a build my build entry on that on the D Day group build. And I got Clint Mad Model, a snap type build. I've got uh, I've got a model for that. I'll probably get picked that up tomorrow. I'll, I'll post that as an entry. And uh, bye bye boys, and we'll catch you next video. And uh, I got uh, I already got the Steve Jake Cutler's across the pond. I already got I got a group build. I got the build for carry aircraft. I got that ready to go. So I'll probably post that tomorrow along with the update of this of the Arizona. Uh, so stay tuned next for builds of the past. I got another one coming up, folks. And uh, so stay tuned for that. So I'd like to thank everybody again once more again for tuning in on my video of my USS Arizona build. This will be a long build, folks. Ain't going to be no uh, foot race in this job, so it's going to be a slow build. And other builds will follow along with it, too. So I'll be pretty busy for the year 2014. Bye, boys.